in today's society, some people think that sex is a sin. And even after they marry and go through the transition phase where sex is now blessed by God, they feel that they are sinning when they have sex, which is completely contrary to the church teachings. Our church teaches us that sex is created by God. God created humanity from the beginning, male and female, with different body structures, indicating that we are sexual beings. And he commanded Adam and Eve to be fruitful and multiply, which obviously cannot be fulfilled without sex. This very private relationship brings two people together to become one. It is a beautiful expression of love, trust, sharing, and unity. It is a gift from God to a married couple for pleasure and procreation. Having said this, sex outside of marriage is a sin. The Bible is very clear about the sin of adultery and sexual immorality. Not because God, he wants to limit our sexual expression and pleasure, but because he wants to keep us safe. There are many reasons why you shouldn't have sex before getting married. But the biggest and the most crucial one is that since sex is intended to unite a husband and wife, when a boyfriend and a girlfriend have sex, it creates strong bonds between them that shouldn't be there. This is risky because dating gives you the chance to find out whether the other person is compatible with you and if for some reason you find out along the way that your relationship won't work out, it will be difficult to break up with them because premarital sex created this strong bond that is meant to be created with the right person only and will make breaking up with them very, very difficult. Your dating season should be a blessing to you when you finally meet the person God has planned for you. When you engage in premarital sex, you will infect this season with guilt and shame and you will miss God's blessings. If you want to enjoy the long-term rewards of following God, you will need to make some short-term sacrifices, but in the end, you will have a house that God himself has built and blessed. As the psalmist says, unless the Lord builds the house, its builders labor in vain. Let us strive to always maintain our purity and bring glory to God in whatever we do so that the might bless and protect our houses. God's blessings be with you always.